<laughs> I am literally just editing uh, this month's vlog when I realised that I didn't make an intro. So this is the intro. <laughs> Welcome to the April vlog. <laughs> I've just been photographing, that's why my light box is out. Just been photographing my new products. This weekend I did a special launch so every day of the easter weekend a new product came out and it's gone really really well and people are liking it so i'm really excited tomorrow is the last upload i've just put up the coasters that i now sell on my etsy and um yeah i'm hoping everyone really likes them um i just wanted to pop on and let you guys know a um, couple of things that happened this month, um, well obviously I made a huge order on um, line uh, for new products so I could put them in my shop. The box came and the stuff looks great, so super super happy. I've had a bit of a disaster because last weekend I ran out of ink. Now, you can't run out of ink when your business is basically revolves around printing. So I ran out of ink, so I madly ordered it. But because of this coronavirus and everything being on lockdown, they said I wouldn't receive the ink until this weekend. And obviously this weekend is Easter, it's its bank holiday. So the only day it was actually gonna get to me would have been Saturday. So I went the whole week dreading that anybody would order something and I wouldn't be able to print it off. And then finally Saturday came and I got a delivery. When I opened the delivery, I was so excited. And there was only black ink in there. And black is not the colour I need or have run out of. So, so joy of all joys, they are sending me my ink cartridges one at a time and I panicked and got stressed and I ordered some more ink. But that's not coming until the next weekend. So now this will be, when this is all said and done, I'll have had no ink for two weeks. And I planned this massive release over the weekend and I did plan to put in stickers and prints, but I couldn't, do that because obviously I need my printer to print the art print so I can photograph them so I can list them on Etsy and I have no ink so it could be Friday before I get ink so I'm gonna have to do today's release and tomorrow's release I'm not gonna be able to release anything printed or anything that I've printed I'm gonna have to release the products that I got from awesome merchandise which is fine but it's just just say me say me I wanted to do a few different designs so it broke it up a bit and people had a bit more choice um but yeah um I also moved my desk around so it's more like streamlined and nice and whatever and I have plans this for this room this room is my mum and dad's um spare bedroom so it has a bed in it so it's not just a desk like office space it has to have um a bed in it for when my sister comes to stay or family or friends come to stay um so it still has to have a bed in it but I've got plans for this room I'm gonna paint it all white because right now I get like this pinky reflection off my face like my face isn't actually this red like when I look at myself in like another room that's white walls like this side is natural sunlight this side is the reflection of the pink paint because it's quite a dark pink um, so I'm going to paint this room white and I'm just going to organise the DVDs that are up there and move the bookcase and sort of make it just more of a work room. I also had my hair cut. So it's very short now. Um, and I love it because all I do with my hair is tie it up. And no one needs hair that long. <laughs> And it was getting unmanageable. So, um, anyway, the hair got cut. It's gone. I'm happy about it. It's all good. Um, and yeah. 
right then um so i'll probably see you guys um pop back on or talk to you tomorrow What am I doing today? Um, I've got to sort out a load of stuff. Sorry, my I've just my hair's still like damp. I've been given it um, like an oil treatment, so you put a load of oil in your hair and you just basically leave it for a couple of days and then you wash it out. So if it looks a bit greasy, that's because it is. <laughs> um, yes, so. I have, um, I still have some uni work that needs to be completed, but Monday, this Easter Monday, is the last day of my sort of Easter weekend release, um, so I put up on Facebook and on Instagram that I was going to do a new release, release a new product every day of the Easter weekend, including Good Friday and Easter Monday. So I so I was gonna put up an art print today, but I don't have the ink for it. And that does that's not just for art prints, that's for anything printed. So I print my own bookmarks, postcards, note blank note cards, art prints, stickers, all of that I can't put up because I don't have any ink for it, so I can't print them up. So that's annoying. Um, I uh, I do have some more button badges um, with different designs on them. So I'm thinking for today's release, I will release the button badges with a different design on them. Good morning, guys. Um, it's what time is it? It's ten past nine, and I'm just sitting here having my coffee before I start the day. Um, got a lot to do today got to take an order to the post office which is going to be the longest queue um that's fine we need to go shopping pick up some food and then i need to get on with some work so it's gonna be a busy day so let's go so i got an order this morning and literally just now i got another order so I'm super excited, super chuffed. Um, they ordered the same thing, which is funny, um, but I still have no ink. So I can't print it off. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping, I'm getting another delivery of ink tomorrow, but I don't know what color that will be. And there's one specific color I need to print off those that product for, that, for those orders. So I'm just, keeping my fingers crossed that tomorrow's delivery is uh, the right colour because or else I've got uh, nothing and nowhere. All right, people are coming out of the shop now and they're looking at me kind of strangely. So I'm gonna go before, uh, yeah, my mum sees me and I have to explain what I'm doing and why I'm talking to a camera inside the car in the middle of a parking lot. All right, then I'll see you guys in a bit. Exciting day. It's two o'clock now, and um, so I need to stop in a bit to have lunch. But I just needed to pop on and let you guys know some exciting news. So a very very nice person on Instagram is having an online craft creative market sort of thing for makers and sellers and artists to sell, like small businesses to sell their products and stuff that they've made. Um, and I asked if I could be one of them and she said sure it will be online um so if you just follow my stories on Instagram you'll be able to keep up to date and all the new releases there will be new releases just for the market um, I just make a little announcement on Instagram um but I wanted to come up here and tell you guys first even though you won't hear it first <laughs> from me um but i wanted to come on here and tell you guys first anyway so um i had um a delivery come through of some more products some new products and i still have products from my last delivery that i have not released yet so i think for to make the market kind of special i'm going to release those two products 
on the Saturday for the market. Um, and so I just literally just got this A-OK. -okay. Sorry, my hair is awful. I just come out of the shower. Just found out that I got the A-OK. -okay. Literally just now. So I've run on to my laptop to look at shipping supplies from boxes and bubble wrap and things like that because some of the new products need extra protection. And that's all I'm gonna say. So I'm really excited. I hope it goes all right. Should go all right. Very nervous, but I'm really, really excited. So good morning, guys. Um it is morning, it's quarter day. Um, it's Thursday. What is the plan for today? Well, the original plan was to do some more paint pouring, but I used all the paint pouring medium that I had yesterday on not a lot of paint. So I really need quite a bit of it for it to go far. And I didn't notice that at the time. I had two bottles that I thought would be enough, but they're quite small apparently. Um, I found out that they, you can get bigger bottles. So I've ordered two big bottles. So everything, literally everything is waiting for deliveries. I can't, so I can't do any more paint pouring, which means that that project for experimental practice, which is the one that's split into four, I think I talked about in March vlog or something. So experimental practice is split into four projects and for one of them I'm doing paint pouring. So I can't really work on that anymore. Um, but that's fine. I'll, I'll work on one of the others. Uh, I plan to work on the text project. I have to properly catch you guys up and have a talk with you because a lot has changed. Basically, um, my idea for the text project was to do a video. Um, very simple. Um, writing on cards and then you flick the card and you read along with the video um kind of like um that love at um love actually where that guy at the end with the carol singing the aunt carol singers just plays the tape and he flips the thing do you know what i mean um anyway if you get that reference great if you don't never mind it's all changed and now i'm doing an animation with sound and I've never done animation with or without sound so it's all new and it's a bit at the last minute so I'm a bit worried about it um I've done some sound bites for it but I'm gonna send everything over to my lecturer and get into a -OK every step now because I went ahead and did a couple of bits of animation and with sound and, and fully completed and I sent it to him and he didn't like it so now I'm going to send him each step of the progress it's going to take longer that way but it means that I won't do a load of work and then it not really be useful so just stepping a bit more cautiously on that one the core's pretty much done apart from the sketchbook again um, so I just need to tidy everything up, really, and once I have the paint pouring medium, get some more of that, could do some more paint pouring, and then that will be most of the projects tied up, apart from their sketchbooks. So that should be alright, that should be fine. I th think I'm spent too much time in the sun and got a heat rash essentially um because i have been laying out in the sun it's been so nice one day wasn't so good but for the most part during this isolation we've had lovely lovely weather so i can't complain i have been able to get out in the garden and get my face in it but maybe a bit too much possibly possibly a bit too much and then i'll get on with some work Speak to you guys later. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm just about to go to bed. And I have to tell you, it's been a crazy day. Biggest thing was 
that I can't believe I'm admitting this but you know how I've been out of ink and I've been waiting for it to be delivered I found some ink that was the color I was waiting for this whole time I had some ink of that color my delivery still hasn't come but I had the ink cartridge already no idea how frustrated I am about that um anyway it's fine because I was able to fill the two outstanding orders, got them sent off today, and I got a load of printing done finally, a lot of work got done, a lot of sticker cutting. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen bits and bobs of me during the day, but yeah, the biggest thing was that I could finally print and yeah that i had the ink that i was waiting for the whole time anywho so it's all done it's all dusted that will be for another day but right now uh i'm tired it's late and i'm gonna go to bed so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay. So it's Monday morning. Uh, it's 10 to 8. And just to give you like a little rundown of what happened um, yesterday. Because I did not film at all. Because it was my birthday. So yeah. Didn't, didn't film. Um, it was beautiful weather um, here in England. And I sat out on my sun lounger and sunbathed pretty much all day yeah just let the time go because what else is there to do when you're in quarantine so today is going to be a busy day um i've got an etsy order i need to fill um and send to the post got a few emails to write and then I'm going straight into uni work so um I need to work in my sketchbook mostly um I've got a lot to do I've got a lot of mess to clear up from the paint pouring and I'm probably going to do a bit more paint pouring today so I might film that um yeah so had a good week, I've had good orders coming in, but just maybe just putting up new content regularly is just helping. Um, so yeah, um, I'll speak to you guys later. Hi guys, so I've just been to the post office, I had three orders come in, so I sent them all off, and the first two were UK, that was absolutely fine normal standard delivery pound something perfectly fine but i had a, pa a package go out to america and that was five pounds to send in the post now bearing in mind that what they ordered came to five pounds so i need to look at my postage because that is ridiculous. I did not make it. Actually, I lost money on that order. I know Etsy has this big thing about offering like the delivery charge with the price of the thing, but it's going to make that item super expensive to anybody who wants to buy it. And, but I don't see any other way around it. Like it was only a five pound item. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to get a calculator out and get some maths going and figuring out these deliveries and different weights and scales and things because if it's going to cost me money now to send stuff out I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't want to charge people more money oh, stressful 
so okay I don't know what I'm gonna do but that'll just have to be tomorrow's problem okay guys so that's it um that's the end of the vlog um I want to apologize now for it being so long I think it's because I try and fit a whole month into one video it's impossibly long so I'm gonna look into maybe making some more videos like more regularly so I don't have to try and squeeze a whole month's content into one video because that was long and if you made it to the end well done <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching you know make sure you subscribe and like comment all that good stuff um and I'll see you in the next one all right guys Bye.